the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. We put our hands like a ceiling can. Tide Hunter has such a big win percentage overall. Hard to dodge the big AOE that he has now. I'm I'm uh, way in favor of complexity here. I think they got comfort heroes that fit their play style. Um, the Queen of Pain is a bit more survivable mid in the storm, but I think they Neski has serious damage issues mid game. The Korea kill is worth so much. It's like what 750 gold for the entire team. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's quite a bit. Well, not for the entire team. 150 per person, of mm -hmm. course. But yeah. Top land. This could be first one potentially. Does have the Aphonics Yoga to pop at level two. But I don't think he's getting out of this one. Just a matter of time before he goes down. Who gets the last hit? It will be Muji. First blood has been stuck in favor of Vanessa. And so he does make that rotation top lane because it's pretty much the only lane he can kill. I think he kind of has to get the blink there because bottom lane, Kyle's in trouble. Bash proc happens, and that will be a kill as a result. Yeah. It would have been close if it wasn't a bash, but the bash guarantees it. The call, uh, the Mineski lamp is really good at running away. Spirit Breaker, Tide Hunter, Life Stealer, Wop. They're all very mobile. Mm -hmm. They all can just like use rage, crank and shell, charge away. They have a lot of spells to just get away. Bottom. Kyle again. He could be in some trouble. Maybe not. Actually, they're looking to turn on a tide hunter if anything. The tide's gonna start swimming and go the other direction. Air shot gonna miss him out of range. Kyle dying to the spirit breaker. Throws up the ice patch. Will hit a couple of splitter blasts though. It does connect. Now finish off the job. It does come at a cost. A one for one. Just now to man up against the spirit breaker. He's gonna choose to do that. The spirit swipes adding up. One more hit maybe. Charges on through. The courier delivers something, but the final auto attack coming out. We'll secure the kill right there. I'm actually surprised he didn't try to charge like mid lane or something. Yeah, it's just having a a dominating lane presence. Whenever Abaddon comes up, he just gets hit once or twice, and they're actually getting charged right now. But they should not be He's not level 6. If, if he gets bashed, he's dead. If not, then he's fine. No borrow time, no bash just yet. TP coming in. That will be Z Freak. Tether's on up. Nice. Gonna heal as a result, and now the turn is real. Spear pressure, he's having to play very safe. Moshi's sitting on top of Z Freak. The best bomb's not gonna connect. And he's gonna keep on running, and Split Blast even happening. Ninja Boogie running on through, goes in a limp. The Avalanche connects, though. And not much of a chance at that point for Ninja Boogie to escape, so. But anyway, Call can fight right now. Oh man, Sonic Wave is ready. Yeah, he can kill the IO if he wants Moon's to. Moon's gonna go for the free kill, perhaps. Opens up, Sonic Wave in the face, does connect to the limp as well. Don't know if he's gonna be killing him. Shadow Strike is applied. Courier, baiting a little bit. Kill him. Yeah, too much health. Not worth it. Move. He wants to go into the Blink Dagger. Okay. But he actually has the Aqua queued up right now. Uh, move this time, borrow time. Dyer's I'm sure gonna be leveled up if necessary. Guards coming in. Who's that here as well? That will be Let's hope he doesn't misclick. Yeah. <laughs> Mushi running after him. Okay, pops up all time. Any TP's coming in? Not just yet. Moose still in a lot of trouble. They're going to run him down, get a little bit of damage in, but the yeah. splinter blast, man. Ninja Boogie also finishes him off, but... Dyer's top he just, top he's is having trouble attack. at this top lane. Well, then, then Ursa kind of becomes the initiator, but he doesn't have a stun. He only has a slow, of course. Double damage. First shot going in. Does uh, find Jeff. You can see that slow coming into play. The ice path will connect. Oh, the misclone as well. And the true result on the out. bottom tower. They don't have Ravage, basically. Yeah. So Lifestay is going to chew through him. They actually infested the Spirit Breaker in level 6 as well. So just result in the dead list. Another strike in. There's the infest bomb. Avalanche connects. Does he freak alive for now? No, not alive for long. He will go down. Let's not find him himself. Although Chessie, his brother jumps in, takes up Spirit Breaker. Eye for an eye right there. One for one. Mucci will walk away off to the side. Kyle puts down the macro pyre. Dealing with Moon right here. Zona Scream is going to be enough. The Sonic Wave was unnecessary. Ends up using it now. And now he's not throwing nice. Winter's Curse will stall the chase. A blink up in two seconds. The toss. The tree throw will be enough to finish off Queen of Pain. So good find the complexity there. And like when when this Abaddon gets up his medallion, his solar crest, they simply don't have the damage to kill him anymore. And the strike on the Z freak again. Yeah. Once again, gonna be a kill. Can they also get limp boarding into the shrine though? Moo has borrow time as well. Gonna run at them with the Aphonic Shield, but it's Mono, which has gets tossed in. So let's go. As the macro fires multiple heroes, eyes back locking up Mushi as well. Mushi pops to rage. We just curse locking down Urza on the back lens. So he'll be fine. But stall the chase. Splinter Blast coming out. Not gonna be enough damage though with the dual breath to finish off Mushi. The armlet toggles. Keeping him alive in the urn. They need to deep under his dipping middle. Actually, they want to smoke up with this straight. Tiny was seen, by the way, with the scan. So they know something's in the area. They put the sentry down, but it's just a little bit too late. He opens up the outlet right there. On the for me, but Tiny's going to be turned on as the ice bath McIntyre comes out as well. Zoning them out somewhat, but Mineski, they want to fight this. Splinter Blast 
Going in to relocate from I. You saw that he tried out lace, not going to work. He goes down. And it's super nothing so far in favor of Mineski. And possibly it's going to be more. Borrow time. They yield him up in the air. Let him wear off. The wind just curse. Locking on Ursa nearby as well. Move goes the other direction. Says if you want to kill me, you got to come this way. Cold embrace. Saving Wyvern for now. But now it's a three for nothing for Mineski. And if they get Ursa as well, this could be absolutely huge for Mineski. Chessy going to do his darkness to run. Ursa got the ground. Is simply running away. Blink Dagger being deactivated though. By all that dot on him, he pops the embrace and screw it. I gotta fight this. Turns on a ninja boogie at least for the time being. Going in his queen and pin the Sonic Wave. She has it, trying to get the angle. Gets the angle and gets the kill onto Ursa. It does come at a cost though. Mushi goes down to do the limp. He's growing as he ends up finishing him off at least. So they do lose two in the process. Now he'll walk away, it seems like. So I'm gonna be fine there. You got Life Stealer, Desolator in the works. 2,000 gold saved up. Needs two Mithril Hammers. So he's getting there. There's one purchased. Needs another. 1.1k gold, but Ooh. that's what we finished. They're going in. Do they have enough this time, Io? Yes, they Wait, do. Wait, what? They just killed him? <laughs> yeah, the Io did a good job, too, getting right next to him with those whiffs. Meanwhile, the middle lane for the orbs, I should say. Mushi's going to be run down by Ursa. Realizes he can't fight that. The troll nets him up. He invests quickly. Keeps on running. We'll destroy that troll in the process. Side path connects on Ninja Boogie, though. He's definitely going to end up dying. Toss back in. It's a relocate coming in. Flip on the other direction. They're going to end up dropping Mushi. Double kill for Chessie right there. I know three seconds. Could not relocate back in time. But I want to toss that Queen of Pain in trouble. He'll fall as well. The Ravage is not in time for my side size. It just seems to get worse for Mineski. So far, three for one. And this could also result in a Roshan now for Complex. There's going to be 300 health. Satisfied with that, Ninja Boogie, who's he charging? Do you freak? Another striker. Oh, that range is absurd, man. He tries to tether in time, but they use the use of man. Yeah. He can kill and kill, he's at six deaths right now. And they just survive, which they're yeah. really good at. They just win the team fight. And Mineski is really scared of that. They do another five man smoke. They're not pushing out any lanes, so the smoke Radiant is kind of obvious. But Cole should know what's going on. Abaddon is actually already keeping in for backup. It's been a while since we've had a big fight. This could be it. They see move. They're going to go after Ursa. Pops in rage, of course. Going to be fine for now. Running the other direction. Life just trying to sit on top in the back lines. Io, Tiny, they're here. Chessy is going to be looking to turn for half. At least Lemp's going in. Avalanche is with the Wyvern. Queen of Pain flings away. The Ice Path on top of the Magnifier. And they finish off the Wyvern. So far, that's the only kill. Moon goes the other direction. He keeps on running. Ninja Boogie trying to boogie on out of here. And he'll charge up to the top. So he'll, he's good to go. This is level 20. I'm going to be looking at here. By the way, Probably the, the 150 in. GPM. Okay. That's quite a lot. Once he reaches level 25, but they had a wall there, right? Ice pass. So good against Spirit Breaker. We see it right here. Ninja Boogie, he's in trouble. Found, uh, he fessed out from Bushi. Ninja Boogie, though, he's not going to live through that. Sonic Wave does connect to their chest, but again, minimal damage. And Rage been getting plenty. He turns around, going to jump for the life dealer. Knocks him with that battle, though, it looks like the Raptor is next to Claw. Chesty will fall. No buyback for 70 seconds. Z Freak, he's going to take with that overcharge. Gets healed up. He actually gets out of there with a relocate. Down near the bottom lane. That might be bad, though. In fact, well, never mind, because he TP's in. And now he's back in the final. Which is cursed. Oh, no, I to be beat down by Limp right here. T-Freak will fall. And so the Witch's Curse doing some work. Kyle now going to take oh, up against Mushi. He TP's away and will survive. So after all of that, it is a two for one in favor of Mineski. Five minutes in, it's in that mid-game stage. Uh, you know, yeah. getting So it's just a casual block that, and he did go for the Spirit Vessel in the end. Okay. Life Stealer inside Tidehunter. They're pinging out middle lane, going for Abaddon. He just picked up his own Shivas, by the way. And he's going to be sitting right here, so plenty of, plenty of Shivas this game. Doing worse than the other move. He's still alive, which is Chris in the back lines. As Limp is porting in, Jakiro, he's going to be fine, though. Takes up just enough. Jesse, he's back here as well. Raptor's finally going out from my side side, but they're just so damn tanky. Nobody's falling on complexity, even with the Sonic Wave hitting multiple heroes. Not as re regretted this decision immediately. He does have the cheese, by the way. Might need to come into play. Cold Embrace is going to save for the time being. Can he get out of here in time to toss up? No, we cannot, actually. The Cold Embrace almost killed him, honestly. It killed him, man. He yeah. Because could, he could have still cheesed as well. Once he reaches level 25, then my move comes round. Seconds. Ice Pamp is going to be game breaking. That is long. Yeah, that's very long. long duration. Middle lane. Look at complexion. There's a five back on a tight end. He goes in with a Chief Us. They're going to jump on a limb. Limb just kind of walks it off, though, especially with that on that overcharge. He's good to go. Macrofire zoning them out as well. So, no Ravage to use. Jesse, he runs in Ninja Boogie. Radiant's Cold Embrace. Keep him alive for the time being, but that's just going to set up an easy ice pass. He's probably going to kill. As we see, Bushi has to touch on the Witch's Curse on Ursa, but he's just taking all that damage. There's no chance with the enraged. He was easily going to survive through that. Remember, Life Stealer does have the Aegis still throughout all of this. He infests Boss on top, and he may actually go down to the Aegis. It's going to be popped. 
Titan are jumping back in as well. Guinevere is now back up as well. Himself, Titan are eyes eyes eyes. He's just dying to the earth, so finally goes down. He's dead for 70 seconds. Guinevere in the back line is kind of kind of infinity. He's trying to be a distraction right here. But the racks, at least one of them is already destroyed. Jesse. Going at it with a life stealer. They just don't care, man. It's, it's, and why Radiant should they? I mean, the life pool is still attack. great. Yep. The only hero a bit long health is the Wisp. I still got plenty of spirit vessel charges to get himself up. Nah, nah. He doesn't have a buyback. The ice pass connects, and that could be the end of his life. It absolutely is. Limp is dominating. This is the best of one. It comes to the on the verge of eliminating Mineski. Unless they can somehow hold this down 10,000 net worth of their base being destroyed. Are under Radiant's bottom barracks. Yep. Has fallen. And this is it, it seems like. I mean, it's not just too much to say about what happened there. We spoke about them not being able to kill them, and that's literally just what happened. Yeah. Just ran in, hit the Rex, hit the heroes. Like, Mineski Radiant's used everything they had at their disposal fallen. at the time they didn't have Rex and no clock wave, and just attack. can't deal with the survivability of the call lineup. So, is it. Is Oh, well, hold on, uh, we'll talk about it until uh, he is truly over right here. A last stand attempt from an SP, which was cursed. They might get a kill on an IO, but the they last one is going to be complexity. You're right, and buys back. And that's really good. What's the point? Yeah. Mega Megas. creeps have spawn complexity. Radiance Again, they might just have to finish attack. it the old fashioned way at this point. I can't blame Ineski as far as uh, yep. not giving in just yet. There we go, though. GG well played. Yeah, yeah. It will be a victory for complexity, and they move on and face Kingwin. In the next Dino round later on victory. today. Yeah. Honestly, the biggest issue for uh, Mineski was just the early game was it was good, but not good enough to make up for the they weakness they well. had. Uh, it didn't make up for the weakness they had mid late game. It's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire. But okay. anyway, Call can fight right now. Oh man, Sonic Wave is ready. Yeah, he can kill the IO if he wants Moon's to. Moon's gonna go for the free kill perhaps. Opens up, Sonic Wave in the face does connect to the lip as well. Don't know if he's gonna be killing him. Shadow Strike is applied. Courier, baiting a little bit. Kill. Yeah. Too much health. Not worth it. Moon. Wants to go into the Blink Dagger. Okay. But he actually has the Egg for the queued up right now. Uh, move this time, borrow time. Dyer's I'm sure gonna be leveled up if necessary. Garge coming in. Who's out here as well? That will be Let's hope he doesn't misclick. Yeah. <laughs> Mushu running after him. Okay, he pops up all time. Any TP's coming in? Not just yet. Moose still in a lot of trouble. They're gonna run him down, get a little bit of damage in, but the yeah. splinter blast, man. Ninja Buggy also finishes him off, but. Dyer's top he's just, top he's is having trouble attack. at this top lane. Well, then, then Ursa kind of becomes the initiator, but he doesn't have a stun. He only has a slow, of course. Double damage. First shot going in. The uh, fine jab. You can see that slow coming into play. The ice path will connect. Oh, the missile as well. And the true result on the bottom tower. They don't have Ravage, so basically. Yeah. So Life is gonna chew through him. They actually infested the Spirit Breaker, he's level 6 as well. Just Ooh. result in the dead twist. Another strike here, there's the Infest Bomb. Avalanche connects, LC Freak alive for now. No, not alive for long. He will go down, left out finding himself. Although Chessy, his brother jumps in, takes up Spirit Breaker, eye for night right there, one for one. Muji will walk away off to the side, Kyle puts down the Macro Pirate, dealing with Moon right here. Zona Scream is gonna be enough. The Sonic Wave was unnecessary in the music of doubt. And now he's not still nice. Winter's Curse will stall the chase. A blink up in two seconds. The toss, the tree throw will be enough to finish off Queen of Pain. So good find my complexity there. And like when, when this Abaddon gets up his medallion, his solar crest, they simply don't have the damage to kill him anymore. And the strike on the Z Freak again. Yeah. Once again, gonna be a kill. Can they also get limp boarding into the shrine though? Moo has borrowed time as well. Gonna run at them with the Aphonic Shield, but it's a mono attack. Gets tossed in, says, let's go. As the macro fires multiple heroes. The ice path locking out Mushi as well. Mushi pops to rage. We just curse, locking out Urza on the back lens. He'll be fine. But stall the chase. Splinter Blast coming out. Not gonna be enough damage though with the dual breath to finish off Mushi. The armlet toggles. Keeping him alive in the urn. They need to deep under his deeping middle. Actually, they want to smoke up with this straight. Tiny was seen, by the way, with the scan. So they know something's in the area. They put the sentry down, but it's just a little bit too late. He opens up the outlet right there. On the Ninja Puppy, but Tiny's going to be turned on as the Ice Path Macapar comes out as well, zoning them out somewhat. But Mineski, they want to fight this. Splinter Blast going in to relocate from I. You saw that he tried out late. It's not going to work. He goes down. And it's two for nothing so far in favor of Mineski. It possibly is going to be more borrow time. They yield him up in the air. Let him wear off. The Winter's Curse locking on Ursa nearby as well. Move goes the other direction. Says, if you want to kill me, you got to come this way. Cold Embrace. Saving Wyvern for now, but now it's a three for nothing for Mineski. And if they get Ursa as well, this could be absolutely huge for Mineski. Chessy going to do his darkness to run. Ursa on the ground is simply running away. Blink Dagger being deactivated though. By all that dot on him, he pops the embrace. Screw it, I gotta fight this. Turns on Ninja Boogie, at least for the time being. 
Going in his Queen of Pain to Sonic Wave. She has to try to get the angle. Keep claw chesting will fall. No buyback for 70 seconds. Z Freak, he's on the tank with that overturn. Gets healed up. He actually gets out of there with a the relocate down near the bottom lane. That might be bad though. In fact, well, never mind, because he TP's in. And now he's back in the final Winter's Curse. Oh no, I have to be beat down by Limp right here. Z Freak will fall. And so the Winter's Curse doing some work. Kyle now gonna take up against Mushi. He TP's away and will survive. So after all of that, it is a two for one in favor of Mineski. Five minutes in, it's in that mid-game stage, uh, you know, yeah. getting... So it's just a casual buckler and he did go for the Spirit Vessel in the end. Okay. Life Stealer inside Tidehunter. They're pinging out middle lane, going for Abaddon. He just picked up his own Shivas, by the way. And he's gonna be using it right here, so... Plenty of, plenty of Shivas this game. Doing worse than the other move. He's still alive, which is goes to the back lines. As Limp is porting in, Jakiro, he's gonna be fine though, takes up just enough. Jesse, he's back here as well, Raps finally going out from my side side, but they're just so damn tanky. Nobody's falling on complexity, even with the Sonic Wave hitting multiple heroes. Not as re regretted this decision immediately, he does have the cheese by the way. Might need to come into play, Cold Embrace, gonna save for the time being. Can you get out of here? Time to toss up, no we cannot actually, the Cold Embrace almost killed him honestly. It killed him, yeah. Yeah. Because he could, could have still cheesed as well. He reaches level 25, in 3.7 seconds, right. Ice Panther is going to be game breaking. That is long. Yeah, it's very a long duration. Middle lane, look at complexion. There's a five back on a tight end. He goes in with the Chiefas. They're going to jump on a limb. Limb just kind of walks it off though, especially with that on that overcharge. He's good to go. Macrofire is zoning them out as well. So, no Ravage to use. Jesse, he runs in Ninja, Boogie, Cold Embrace. Keep him alive for the time being, but that's just going to set up an easy ice path. And probably the kill. As we see, Mushi has to go to the other Witch's Curse on Urza, but he's just tanking all that damage. There's no chance with the Enrage. He was easily going to survive through that. Remember, Life Spiller does have the Aegis still throughout all of this. He infest bombs on top, and he may actually go down, so the Aegis is going to be popped. Tidener jumping back in as well. Queen of Pain is now back up as well himself. Tidener, right side side, just died to the earth, so finally goes down. He's dead for 70 seconds. Queen of Pain in the back line is kind of kind of infinity. He's trying to be a distraction right here with the racks. At least one of them is already destroyed, Chessy. Going at it with a life stealer. They just don't care, man. It's, it's, and why should they? I mean, the life pool is still great. Attack. Yep. The only hero with good long health is the Wisp. I still got plenty of spirit vessel charges to hit up. Nah, nah. He doesn't have a buyback. The Ice Pass connects, and that could be the end of his life. It absolutely is. Limp is dominating. This is the best of one in complexity on the verge of eliminating Mineski. Unless they can somehow hold this down 10,000 net worth of base being destroyed. Are under Radiant's bottom yep. Has fallen. And this is it, it seems like. I mean, there's not just too much to say about what happened there. We spoke about spot. them not being able to kill them, and that's literally what happened. Yeah. Just ran in, attack. hit the wrecks, hit the heroes. Like, Mineski Radiant's used everything they had at their disposal. At the time, they didn't have wrecks, they had no quad wave. And just attack. can't deal with the survivability of the call lineup. So, is it, is, oh, well, hold on, uh, we'll talk about it until uh, it seems like, so I'm gonna be fine there. You got yeah. Life Stealer, Desolator in the works. 2,000 gold saved up, needs two Mithril Hammers. So he's getting there, there's I'll one purchased. Needs another one for one hit gold, but Ooh. that's what it's going to be finished. They're going in. Do they have enough no. this time, Io? Yes, they Wait, do. What? They just killed him? Yeah, the Io did a good job too, getting right next to him with those whips. Meanwhile, middle lane, the orbs, I should say. Moose, he's going to be run down by Ursa. Realizes he can't fight that. The troll nets him up. He invests quickly, keeps on running. We'll destroy that until the process. Side path connects on a ninja boogie, though. He's definitely going to end up dying. Toss back in. It's a relocate coming in. Lift from the other direction. They're going to end up dropping Mushi. Double kill for Jesse right there. I know three seconds. Could not relocate back in time. But I want to pass that Queen of Pain in trouble. He'll fall as well. The Ravage is not in time for my side size. It just seems to get worse for Mineski. So far, three for one. And this could also result in a Roshan now for Complex. There's going to be 300 health. Satisfied with that, Ninja Boogie, who's he charging? Do you freak? Another Ninja strike. Ninja. Oh, that range is absurd, man. He tries to tether in time, but they use the Yeah, He's gonna kill and kill, he's like at six deaths right now. And they just survive, which they're yeah. really good at. They just win the team fight. And Mineski is really scared of that. They do another five man smoke. They're not pushing out any lanes, so the smoke Radiant is kind of obvious. The call should know what's going on. Abaddon is actually already keeping in for backup. It's been a while since we've had a big fight. This could be it. They see move. They're going to go after Ursa. Pops in rage, of course. Going to be fine for now. Running the other direction. Life just trying to sit on top in the back lines. Io, Tiny, they're here. Chessy. Going to be looking to turn for half. At least Lamp's going in. Avalanche is switching to Wyvern. Queen of Pain flings away. The Ice Path on top of the Magnifier. And they finish off the Wyvern. So far, that's the only kill. Moon goes the other direction. He keeps on running. Ninja Boogie trying to boogie on out of here. And he'll charge up to the top. So he'll, he's good to go. This is level 20. I'm going to be looking at here. By the way, Probably the, the 150 in. GPM. Okay. It's quite a lot. Once he reaches level 25, 
Wait, they had a ward there, right? Ice path, so good against Spirit Breaker. We see it right there, Ninja Boogie. He's in trouble. Found, uh, he fessed out from Bushi. Ninja Boogie, though, he's not going to live through that. Sonic Wake jumps back in her chest. He's going to get minimal damage. And Rage been getting plenty. He turns around, going to jump for the life dealer. Knocks him with that battle. It looks like the Ravage next claw chest. He will fall. No buyback for 70 seconds. He's going to take with that overcharge. Gets it up. He actually gets out of there with a relocate. Down near the bottom lane. That might be bad, though. In fact, well, never mind, because he TP's in. And now he's back in the final. Which is cursed. Oh, no. I was going to be beat down by Limp right here. Z Freak will fall. And so the Witch's Curse doing some work. Kyle now going to take up against Mushi. He TPs away and will survive. So after all of that, it is a two for one in favor of Mineski. Five minutes in, it's in that mid game stage. Uh, you know, yeah. getting. So it's such a casual buck there, and he did go for the Spirit Vessel in the end. Okay. Life Stealer inside Tidehunter. They're pinging out middle lane, going for Abaddon. He just picked up his own Shivas, by the way. And he's going to be sitting right here, so plenty of plenty of Shivas this game. Doing worse than the other move. He's still alive, which is Chris in the back lines. As Lip is boarding in, Jakiro, he's going to be fine, though.